Chaewon in particular, I think, sounds really good on this song, though. Like, if all- if this is right, and all the lines that say Chaewon are Chaewon, Chaewon on this song absolutely popped off. That chorus is fun. That chorus is really fun. Oh, yeah. Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Zunubu Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel and the video you're about to watch is going to be slightly confusing because it's my reaction to both parts of Classy's debut album or albums, I'm not sure which I should call it, um, both Class is Over and Lives Across. Uh, I did a catch-up stream right before this video gets uploaded and uh, where I did albums from a bunch of artists that I need to catch up on. And uh, one of those was Classy, and we streamed so long that it happened to be on the same day that the new Classy stuff dropped. So we just ended up finishing this. We started the stream with Classy, and we ended up finishing the stream with Lives Across. So I'm just going to cut, so it's going to be weird. I'm going to be talking to chat, but also I'm reacting. So hopefully you enjoyed my reaction to the album. Hopefully it doesn't get blocked. Uh, M25, please, I beg. Um... But uh, assuming this video goes on YouTube, and it's not super edited, then uh, that's why this reaction is kind of confusing and all over the place, because it's like four hours apart <laughs> on either ends of a long stream. Or I guess four hours isn't that long, but on either ends of an album stream that I did. So it's kind of disconjoint disjointed, and there's different people and stuff. So anyway, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, I, so far, I'm a really big fan of Classy's music. Up was the only one I wasn't uh, wasn't a fan of. So apparently, Classy has more music coming out today, which I guess makes this really weird timing, but or perfect timing. But we'll see. So let's give Up a listen. I've only heard Shut Down. I do know Elon mixed the album, which I appreciate. Not the title track though. But Elon Engineering is always a good, good first set. Yeah, and Ryan worked on a lot of this stuff too, right? So, or everything. Okay. Kind of an energy release, minimal section. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. I like the harmony. Mm, I don't like that chorus. Once again, we have shouting in a chorus. Damn it. Some interesting rhythms here. Some low horns. Um, I like the kind of, like, I actually do like the spoken into rap transition with, like, a samba beat coming in, and then we get, like, the brass. That's a cool transition. It's weird that's, like, a French horn or something. That's, like, really low brass. Or maybe an oboe. This is very lively. Pre-chorus is nice. Yeah, the, the shouting in the chorus is the biggest barrier for me so far. Unfortunately. Like the I don't wanna, it's okay. It's almost sung. But I don't know, man. Okay. A weird place for that to go. Bit of chromatic harmony.
This bridge is pretty so far. Oh! Okay. That was a sharp left turn. See, it's just, man, it's just talking again. The running, running is just talking again, man. Instrumentally, this is really interesting. Like, there's some really cool sounds instrumentally here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that one... I don't know if it's a skip. I'm definitely not going to click like on it. Uh, shut down, I will click like on. Uh, yeah, that one I'm not in love with. Um, I've spoken at great length about talking and music. It's not my thing. I really wish people would stop doing it, especially in your choruses. Um, bits of the talking, like I said, the spoken transition sessions were actually not bad. Like, the speaking into the rap was kind of cool. But especially the talking in the chorus, or the shouting in the chorus, is just really not... Ugh. I wish I liked it, because I would like a lot more girl group music this year. But it just, it just, it once again strikes. The speaking in the music strikes again. Um, yeah, we're gonna skip over Shut Down, because I've obviously already heard it. I do like that song, it's a good song. Um, so I guess we're gonna jump into Tell Me One More Time. And yeah, I don't, I don't think that one's a skip, actually. I think there's enough there for me to like it. Um... But I'm definitely not in love with it. Tell me one more time. May as well just pull the other ones up. Super cool and feeling so good. Oh, they're actually in reverse order. Kind of nice. Okay. Tell me one more time. Hopefully I like this one more. Feel like I'm dreaming. I never want to wake up. Some young I actually really like that line. This one is starting promising. Some funk bass. Some strings, some high strings, the harmonies. Oh no! Cute. This is much more my speed, Chad. A little bit of fun, flirty kind of brass. It's not triumphant brass, it's, it's party brass. It's vibey brass. Oh yeah. This is groovy. This feels almost uh, Utsushonya to me. Actually. I like the little, I like the little exhale. Ah. <laughs> What's up, Lucas? Ooh, the rhythmic switch up there. Uh, that's cool that that's syncopated. That's really cool that that's syncopated. It's on the offbeat of the bass. That's cool. I like this song. I immediately like this one. Ooh. 
Yeah, that that feels really good. That feels really good. That's my favorite of the three songs so far that I've heard. Who knows, Lucas? Maybe if I keep the most degenerate sleep schedule of all time. I really like the fade back. Yeah. Really a weird like hollow drum. Yeah, this one is this is really nice. Already singing it, man. We got some some belting going on too. They haven't performed this one. This one is really good. That's I like that more than the title track as well. I like it way more than Up, but I like that. That's my favorite of the three so far, and it's not even particularly close. <laughs> I I really really like that song actually. <laughs> I really like that song. Okay, well good. That's good. So far, we're we're one and one on B sides, I guess. Let's give Super Cool a listen. Oh, this one sounds a bit edgier. Oh, the fade off is sick. Oh, the double down on that bass? I love that flutter. That flutter stop is so nice. That little... Huh? It's like a reverse breath sound. Ooh! Oh, that's pretty good. I like these like pingy echo sounds. It's like this constant fall. This is rhythmically really chaotic. Ooh, that's filthy. That's filthy. Okay, wait, maybe this one is my favorite. <laughs> wait, wait, maybe this one is my favorite. This one's really weird. This is like Ryan is saucing. He is saucing. He was not sober when he made this beat. No way. It's sick though. It's like that that fall like a weird disparate echo glitchy sound that they're doing with the vocals it's so cool mm -hmm. the belt was really cool too we got these hold on we got these it's like weird synth strings? This is very sassy. 
Did someone say damn? Is that what that was? Damn! I swear that's what it was. I, I doubt it, but that's what it sounded like. Did you get some wobbing? Oh! 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 That building is crazy! New material for the outro. We praise new material. That's really good. That's really good. That's really good. That's my favorite now of these. Oh, the, I mean the drums. The drums are wacky. They're wacky drums. Wow, that's that is wild though. That is that is some. Like I said, Ryan is he is saucing. I need to listen to this one again. He is saucing. This is like... <laughs> Drugs are illegal in Korea, right, Chad? Just, just alcohol, I guess. That's like some weird drumline shit going on. Everybody sounds great on this. K1 in particular, I think, sounds really good on this song, though. Like, if all- if this is right, and all the lines that say J1 are J1, J1 on this song absolutely popped off. This is so weird. There's, like, all of these flip samples. They're right. I mean, yeah, J1 ate this song. She ate this song. And you guys, you already know how I feel. Like, this was the moment I fell in love with the song immediately. Like, at the beginning, it was like, oh, there's cool stuff going on. Where does this go? What's happening? And then right here, it's it's the epic shit. You guys know it's always the epic shit for me. It, it's always... These... Whoa! These, like, reverb... Whoa! Ah, dude! It's so good! Good use of auto-tune. Really good use of auto-tune. This is really, really, really good. I'm debating... So chat, the reason we went for a second listen... I'm debating whether this goes in Song of the Year contenders. That's the level we're at. It's like, it's on the cusp. Cool static on the vocals. Really cool static on the vocals. Super strange. Descending. There's so many like inverted samples, like weird vocalizations, crazy stuff going on with like MIDI keys. The switch ups are sick. Oh, ah. Oh. And the feeling, man. There's just raw emotions in the vocals. The echo. This goes in Song of the Year Contenders. It does. By the way, that stream at the end of the year where we have to trim that down is gonna be fucking awful. <laughs> 
We're gonna have to do a stream at the end of the year. It's gonna be fucking awful of my song of the year contenders and trimming it down to like one. It's gonna be atrocious. But anyway, for now, I don't have to worry about that. This is legitimately one of the coolest things I've heard this year, though. This song is sick. That's really good. And now onto the best song, Kappa. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm nervous, but all right. Last of the classy songs, at least for a couple of hours, apparently. Feeling so good. What is that echo? I kind of like that we're building in. <sighs> Text painting. I love that she says yawn. Yawn something with yawn loudly as if he just woke up. Yawn. That's fun. Oh, it's, it's me. This is fun. So, I, I like the attitude in this too. Feeling so good. <laughs> it's like, whoa, okay. It's so bouncy. I like that the instrumental cuts completely there. So far, I like this. Corker songs with male vocals. Oh yeah, playlist streams, chat. Those exist. Weekly, by the way. This is fun. This is fun. Yeah, this song is adorable. It's me! It's a little repetitive. But it's cute. I can't be mad at it. There is something addictive about this chorus. Even so, even so good. Really, Shutdown is my second least favorite, I think. I'll do the ranking in a minute, obviously, but... That's cute. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cute. That's really cute. I like that one too. I'm not gonna put it in rotation, but yes, K-pop for sure. So, is up a skip? It might be a skip. It might be a skip. I really don't like that spoken chorus. I really don't like that spoken chorus. And I wasn't in love with it before. I just liked it. <laughs> they don't care what I say though, so it's fine. Who cares, honestly? Maybe I should just shut up. I, I really like the pre-chorus and the bridge. 
but I don't think I like anything else about the song. I need to listen again to decide if it's a skip or a mat. I think it's a skip. I think it's a skip. I don't think I can make myself listen to that chorus. The little somber rhythms and stuff are fun, but I I'm not, yeah, I I'm not, that song is not for me. It's not for me. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, the rest of the album was good, actually. So, I guess we do our rankings here. Uh, Super Cool is 100% my favorite. 100% my favorite. Hundred percent. Really, really, really good. Really, really, really good. Um, like I said, that song, it slipped into Song of the Year Contenders. Absolutely great, as far as I'm concerned. Yes. Really cool, really unique, really strange. Uh, tell me one more time. I like a lot. I like this the second most. That's some really cool stuff. Yeah, that's definitely second. Um, we do have a skip, unfortunately. Up just barely doesn't make it across the line. It's close to not being a skip, but it is that chorus, man. Stop yelling and talking in your choruses, please, I beg. Please, for the love of God, I beg. At least it wasn't the title track, so I do appreciate that. I, I am grateful that they didn't do it in the title track. I'll just... Talking. <laughs> talk. As a matter of fact, why talk? Question mark. There's my notes for that song. Um, oh yeah, my, my song of the year list is, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, that stream is gonna be so tragic. When I have to decide what to cut and what to keep. It's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a disaster. No way that's going to be a, a great time trying to decide what my song of the year is. Um, and then I guess we'll get the green pen back out because I really like Tell Me One More Time. This one gets a little green dot of appreciation. Maybe we'll give it a smiley face. Right cute on feeling so good. Well, I accidentally made a V instead of a U. Um... Tell me one more time through Song of the Year. Nice. I mean, it, it's a good song. It's definitely my second favorite. And then I guess chat will do the uh, we'll do the number ranking. So this is the clear number one. Tell me one more time. Number two. Uh, number three. Feeling so good. I think. Or is it shut down? I think feeling so good three. Shut down four. And then five is up. So, there we go. There we go. Oh yeah, Luna come back in June. June's already full, by the way. I don't know how, how the fuck that happened, but June is just full now. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool, the whole month is just booked every day, just like these last few months. What was the name of this album? Class is over. Job security, I guess. Oh, we'll call the light gone, same, same, different, and surprise. Uh, classy and diving into you. Let's go. New songs. Yo, I'm so classy. Vocal fry already. Okay. Ooh, that. Who am I? I actually, that's dope. That is dope. Like the steel drums as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. That chorus is fun. That chorus is really fun. Oh, yeah. 
Guess what? Mmm, the Saiyan! I also like the string bit. Cool drumline stuff, too. This is kind of in the same vibe as Super Cool was. It's kind of in the same zone. Yeah, this song is great. Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't watched any other content really. The only thing I've watched is a surprise like performance video. I love that, like, constant descending. This this thing in the background, the constant ascending, descending. That part just keeps going, it's so cool. It's so good. Switch up, but sure. I love the strings on that, too. Banger. That's a banger. That's the second best classy song. I like that less than super cool, but more than all the other classy songs so far. That's a banger. I, l I really am feeling that. Was uh, Ryan Judd involved with this one too? I'm actually curious. Oh, there's no credit. <laughs> no credit to anyone. <laughs> Who knows? Galactica did surprise, which I knew. Did Galactica do this, too? It kind of feels like Galactica-esque, actually. Interesting. They don't have credits for Dive It Into You, either. Okay. Dive It Into You! It spawned out of the air. It wrote itself. True. Okay. Mm. Some of these really melodic sections are really nice. I wasn't sure at the start, but I think it already won me over. I like that step up. Okay. A little bit cheesy, but I'll take it. Another good use of the auto tune belt. They like to do that a lot. Or their producers like to do that a lot. This could be Ryan, or this could be Galactica again. I'm actually curious who worked on this. Okay. Trap drums. Okay.
I like this song. I like this one as well. Yeah, I like this one as well. The first like 20 seconds or so I wasn't sure. Whose lower voice is that? Is that Hyeju? Cause she had some of the low parts in the other songs. That's really pretty. Sounds like Hyeju to me. But I don't know their voices that well. Great belt again. Yeah, we're in the same boat. <laughs> I don't really know either. That's really good too. I think I like classy use slightly more, but that one is also really good. <clears throat> it's a good way to end it, yeah. Especially if you think about this as one album. Like if you were to call this like a what a nine track album. Which kinda weird that they split it at all. I don't even know what's going on with that, but if they just would have released this as like a nine track full album, <clears throat> I think this is a really comprehensive project. Um, they kind of marketed it as, like, a two-part full album, which is weird, but anyway. I, yeah, I, Classy is my second favorite Classy song, I think. Um, so far I like all their songs except Up, which is that spoken chorus was a problem for me, so. But I, I really like Diving Into You, but I like Classy even more. One album, two versions with different songs. Yeah, that's really strange to think about. <laughs> sure, that's another way you could think about it. Not wrong, actually. <laughs> Not wrong, actually. Well, I'm pretty impressed overall, chat. I'm pretty impressed overall with Classy's music. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. <laughs> Should I just edit all of it into one video? <laughs> it's like four hours later with no context. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, this, this, this was pretty good. I, I, like I said, Classy, I'm in love with. David Into You's good. Yeah. I'm overall impressed with them, uh, as an artist. Thank you so much to everyone who's chosen to support me this month on Patreon, with special appreciation going to Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, Muse Ribbons, Nex, Lucky7Gen, 42 Ariadna, Atsushi Ray H, Dwight, Mushroomy, Jalen Raybon, Louise Zeko, Q, Stephen Wong, and Jyoti Sharma. 